this is five dollars best spent ever. Now let's talk about join and know that. <laughs> I'm Matt and this is Noia Tech and I'm very excited uh, mostly because uh, I've got Node-RED and Join and everything works together. There are Join nodes for Node-RED which means you no longer have to refer to hacks and uh, cobble different solutions to connect an Android device or Tasker eh, for that matter uh, to Node-RED server. You've got dedicated Join nodes thanks to Mr. Diaz. Uh, so I'm very happy about it and the purpose of this uh, video is obviously to show you how it works. So I'm just going to open my Node-RED and uh, we'll get started. My nodes are finally available via npm manager. So all you have to do is just navigate to the Node-RED folder and execute the installation command which is uh, n sudo npm install and then package name which is node-red-contrib-join-shower-apps. And you'll be able to install the nodes after a few moments. I'm doing this via terminal because later on uh, reboot is uh, recommended so it's obviously much easier to do it uh, through the terminal itself but if you want uh, you can install the nodes from the palette manager in the node red itself. All you have to do is just uh, go to uh, manage palette, install and find the node in there and you'll see that's the node for the to, for you to install. Remember, to, you have to be in the beta channel for join app if you want this to work on your mobile. Now, everything is installed, so all I have to do is just to reboot my uh, server and wait for it to go back up. If you take a look, you should be able to find two new nodes, join, join receive message and join push. You have to configure these before we can use it, so let's add a new server and configure our server. We need a name for the server. So this is the device name you're gonna see in a join a groups. And we need API for the um, join itself. So don't share this key, just use it uh, to register your device uh, with a join system. So once this is done, I've used custom port for me it's 25. And uh, if you want, you can also design uh, will tell uh, join nodes what is your public IP or DNS or what is your local one uh, otherwise it will detect it itself. Um, word of warning uh, if you're doing it on Raspberry Pi it's recommended that you add the um, extension to Chromium and then set the port number and select the full push. Now uh, the last thing we have to get a command filter I'm just using a node for the sake of it. So the node is now configured before I deploy everything, I'm just going to add a debug node. This way, I'll be able to see when the message is incoming. So I'm just going to the, uh, confirm and deploy it. Uh, join push isn't yet configured. Uh, all it's asking for is uh, really just assign the server, that's all. Uh, so let's go to the debug, get rid of that uh, message, uh, redeploy it again, and then join push is going to be also deployed correctly. Now let's send the message back to the uh, our node red. You can see the new device Node-RED being available and we can send the command Node, that's our command that we've decided that we're going to use, followed by equal symbol, uh, colon, equal symbol, and an actual message. So I'm just using test. So when I press, uh, you can see the instantaneous, the message is available in Node-RED for you to handle. There's a command and there is a test right now without any variable assigned and a key uh, assigned. So to assign the key, you're just using this field, which is variable. I'm just going to add the variable. And now if you see, I'm just going to send a different command, which is going to have two different um, messages. One's going to be test one and one's going to be test two. And they're going to be available in the two different keys. Um, it's going to be in, uh, in actual array form. So if you just open this object, you'll see the array. And then we have a variable var zero test one and var one test two. So how do you use these messages available in the arrays? Uh, I'm going to show you an example. I have a dashboard which basically it's a user interface on the website that uh, let you do stuff. So let's take a look. You've got a few toggles in there. But what I'm going to add, I'm going to add a text a widget which is going to display, let's say, a weather condition. I'm not going to set up any profiles which is going to fake it. So I'm adding a text node and the text node is going to be displayed on my dashboard. Uh, 
and what we're going to do we're going to get a label which is going to be like a weather warning or something like that and we're going to uh, display the information being said sent and received by the uh, join node so everything's ready and we have to do one more thing because the messages they come across in a different uh, form and the uh, text accepts only the payload we need to transform that uh, messages into a payload and to do that we're going to use the function node we're going to assign the variable which is stored in message payload variable into a payload and then let's send the message like a weather warning or something so uh, the weather is beautiful and we're going to send it and update the website with the variable itself if you're interested uh, to know what variables uh, are being available uh, through the node red just visit the uh, tutorial linked in the description and you'll see um, a little bit more detailed description of each variable that are available through the push so uh, let's take a look at the join push node uh, join push node is very simple you basically you send a push to a device and there's few ways of doing so the simple push i'm just going to use uh, some inject node to activate it uh, the simple push requires you to set the device name, text, title, and URL for the icon if you want. And this means you can send a simple notification. However, this node, it won't be editable, so you won't be able to edit it from uh, different sources. It's a bit boring, but it's good for those uh, notifications saying like, okay, your PC is online because you're going to always deliver this to a specific device. Or, uh, and the message is going to be uh, always the same. But how to set these values programmatically? What you have to do, and this is the message received, excellent. So what we have to do, I'm just going to copy this again, and I'm going to use again a function node to modify the content because we're going to set these values using a function. So there are different fields that we're going to use. Again, just uh, if you're interested in more um elaborate explanation just uh, have a look at the um the written tutorial but basically for each message type we're going to assign the value and that value is being sent to the push itself so we're gonna when we're gonna send the push uh the push received these values and we've got again uh the same notification bear in mind for this to work your node has to be uh, empty so your push node uh, can't have any values and last way uh, of doing it, the node red has topics. And these topics also can be used to assign the device, title, icon, or um, text. So in this uh, example, I'm setting title to text, and I'm just making sure that everything else is filled in in the node and removing uh, the text which is going to be assigned by the topic. Once this is deployed, all I have to do is press the button and you'll see that the new message has been received, new notification has been received and it uses the text set uh, with the correct topic. And that's basically how you use uh, node red and join nodes together. So if you don't have a Raspberry Pi Zero or Raspberry Pi Zero W, consider getting one because they only cost a few dollars and they are brilliant. Uh, as for this video, thanks so much for watching guys. You know how to social media works, so follow me there uh, if you want to. You know how to YouTube works, so you know how to subscribe as well. I won't be teaching you that stuff. And I guess I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.